welcome to Prospect North Primary School. Learning how to learn is really important for us in our school. We have two different things that we were looking at. One is a curriculum around learning how to learn and be a good learner, and the other is the content of our curriculum. But in order to get kids to be good learners, you really have to present learning in a different way. Practice at home your reading and then you'll move up a different level. I love that, and you're reflecting back on what you have been doing. Our teachers work on formative assessment, so we want to just nudge each child a little bit further, so every conversation counts with our teachers and with our children. Our data outcomes have actually been outstanding over the last seven years, so we know that we're hitting the mark with our kids in terms of their well-being, their ability to self-manage, and their ability to keep the learning outcomes growing as well. The secret powers are the learning dispositions students need to be agents of their own learning. In order for students to take more control of their learning, to give them more agency, they need the skills to be able to do that. And the secret powers are those skills, so they need to be able to think creatively and critically, they need to be able to work in a team, they need to be able to explore an issue and be able to identify problems and create solutions for those problems. Today we're working in the senior studio on solving mathematical problems. They've chosen one of the secret powers, which is thinking critically and creatively to approach their problem. We really look for immersive learning environments and you can see that in all our classrooms. But we've also set up a TV station where the kids get to immerse themselves in that job. This Thursday we are showcasing our cultural journey. So student voice is about students working collaboratively with adults to make choices and decisions about what they learn, how they learn, where they learn. So you can actually dive into the learning pit and learn more strategies. Our approach to wellbeing is based on a nurture philosophy where we see the child at their developmental level and we accept what comes through the door and we build their learning capacity. I think that learner agency pulls wellbeing and academic achievement together because our learners can co-create with the teachers then they're making the environment fit for them and they're also achieving academically at a high rate. My students make me feel proud every day. When I watch students gain more autonomy over their learning, when they're making decisions about what they know they need to achieve and then have the skills and the learning dispositions to be able to achieve those goals. And often they will go beyond what I'm capable of teaching them. 